Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create login service and login controller in Node.js application. So let's get started. You can see here the services package. In this, I'm going to create a new file with the name login.js. So first of all, I'm going to import here bcrypt. For that, I'm going to import here the user model. And here I'm going to add the path of the user model. After this, I'm going to import the generate token method from the JWT util file. Okay. After that, I'm going to create here the async function. And name of the function that is a login. In the argument, it will receive email and the password. And here I'm going to add try and the catch block. In the catch block, it will catch the exception in case of API failing. And here I'm going to throw new error. That is the invalid credentials. We also need to export this function. So let me add here module.exports. And we need to export the login function. Okay, inside the tribe log, I'm going to write the functionality to generate the JWT token of the logged in user. So first of all, we need to get the user by email from the DB. So here I'm going to call our model that is a user and the query that is a find one. And here we need to pass email. Let me add here the await. And here I'm going to create an object to save the response of this query. After getting the user, we need to check in the if condition. If user not exist, then we need to throw a new error. That is a user not found. If user exist, then we need to compare the password of the user. So here I'm going to call bcrypt.compare. First, we need to pass here the password that we got in the argument. And second, we need to get the password of the user that saved in the DB so we will get from existing user dot password and here i'm going to initialize a variable to save the response of this okay after that i'm going to add here the if condition where we need to check if is password valid then we need to generate the token of the user otherwise we will throw the exception that is a invalid password And here I'm going to write the logic to generate the JWT token. So let me call here the method that is a generate token. So here we need to pass the object that is a existing user. Let me initialize here the variable to save the JWT token. And after this, we need to return the token. Okay, let's go to controllers. And here I'm going to create a new file that is a login.js. In the login.js file under the controllers package, I'm going to import here the auth service. After this, I'm going to create here the async function and name of the function that is a login. In the argument, I'm going to add here the request and the response. Let me add here the try and the catch block. In the catch block, it will catch an exception. And here I'm going to send the response that is a rest dot status. It is a 401. And the message in the type of a JSON that is a invalid credentials. After that, I'm going to export the login function. So let me add here module dot exports. And we need to export the login function. So let me add here login. Inside the tribe block, I'm going to write the functionality to get the email and the password from the request body. After getting the credentials, we need to call method from our auth service to generate the JWT token. So first we need to get the email and the password from the request body. After getting these parameters from request body we need to call a method from the auth service so let me call here auth service and the method that is a login 
and here we need to pass email and the password let me add here the await and here i'm going to initialize a variable to save the response of this after this we need to return the response in the type of a json so let me add here rest.json and the token over here okay that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye